It's so nice. It doesn't smell bad. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nao and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is the most useless <laughs> print and demand review video I have ever done in my life. This is a video from the ghost of print on a man Pash, aka Print Taylor. For those of you who have not been following on Print and a Man news in the past few weeks, Print Taylor, a print and a man supplier from China, got shut down. There was a full video about that detailing exactly what I did. Like I started working with them. I have not received any products yet. That's why they were not mentioned in this channel. And I was corresponding with one of them. Then some other person talked to me, wanted to pay me money. I have to sign a contract on what I'm allowed to say and send them my ID. And I was like, yo, no way. I talked to the first guy again. He said to ignore that marketing company. Then a different marketing company approached me about Print Taylor. And I was like, dude, I'm already working with Print Taylor. Leave me alone. And then a fourth person emailed me asking me if we can continue talks about collaboration from 2021. And I'm like, dude, I'm already collaborating with you. And he's like, oh yeah, because that person that you spoke to from Print Taylor no longer works here. He has to take a leave of absence. And you know, I'm, I'm making jokes about this, but I do have to say, I don't know why Print Taylor got shut down. I got a lot of people asking me. I also got a lot of people messaging me about alternatives to Print Taylor. So there isn't one more print and demand supplier with a package on their way to me, as well as having a meeting tonight. This is filmed on Wednesday with another print and demand supplier with really good prices. So hopefully all of you who are using Print Taylor or who cannot use Printful or feel like, you know, it's too pricey, the end price of your product is too much, there are more products coming up in the next few weeks and even in the next few days. But Print Taylor was actually one of the collaborations that I was most looking forward to and I designed a t-shirt for them, an all over print t-shirt. I designed an eco bag as well as a kimono. I designed a blanket and they have also these blouses for women with all over print that seem like a really unique product. I also designed a wooden uh, plaque, like wall, wooden wall art piece along with a hoodie. I think it was a zipped hoodie if I'm not mistaken. A wall art tapestry, a wall art satin, uh, canvas hanger thing and a backpack and some of these products i was really excited about and these prices are insane i mean the wooden plaque which is uh around eight by ten inches was eleven dollars which is not a lot of money the t-shirt the all over blouse for women with long sleeve and all over print was fifteen dollars the blanket like a plush blanket for like eleven dollars that's an insanely low price i'm sorry for bending over i'm literally reading it from my computer the kimono for twelve dollars i mean seriously an all over print t-shirt for nine, the eco bag was seven, the full hoodie was 16. I mean, come on, a backpack for $12. This, this was so nice. Seriously, so nice. And I also wanted to design these things like, you know, based on the things that I love, sort of to show you guys how you take your everyday passions and put them on different items. This was supposed to be actually a series of videos reviewing these products by category. So like the clothing items would be separate, like a t-shirt and a hoodie, and then the all over print for women, and then the wall art. This was supposed to be a series of fantastic videos that have been brought down to one, which is today. So about 20 minutes ago, I got a call from FedEx telling me to come downstairs uh, to pick up my package. And to that, I said, which downstairs? I have two addresses in Mountain School and I just moved. Thankfully for me, uh, the FedEx guy was really nice. Uh, the package was actually supposed to be delivered to my old apartment. He brought it to my new apartment. They're, they're really nice here in Vansko. I, there is like a Speedy, a FedEx, and the post office, and I like, I know all of them. And they're super nice. He was like, oh, it's you. You're back here. Uh, that was a, a pretty nice experience. And then I'm getting the package, and I was sure that this is from a different print and demand supplier. I have packages coming my way from Printful, from Teespring, and from another supplier, which will not be named until I get a package. And never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that the package I'm getting today is from Print Taylor. So bear with me for the most useless <laughs> print on a man product review. Hey, maybe you'll find out that they really had bad quality and you're not missing out on anything. Or maybe 
you'll just get some ideas from my designs on these products because some of these designs were actually never shown on the channel before and some of them are have been shown have tutorials on them so you know what let's stop yapping and get started one other thing i do have to say before we get started and this is serious guys I have no idea why Print Taylor got shut down. There are a lot of rumors about the situation, the health situation in China becoming worse now with people in Shenzhen having to stay in the house for the next few days based on East Shenzhen or West Shenzhen with 26 million people in their house to, to basically do tests for the majority of the population. So I'm not going to say the name of the disease because apparently YouTube doesn't like it when you talk about this. Um, but I do have to say that regardless of me making jokes about uh, the print and demand, uh, ghost of print and demand past, I don't know why Print Taylor got shut down and I am extremely worried. Like we have a lot of concerns in the print and demand in the drop shipping world as well for everything coming from China. Everything is becoming also a bit more expensive now with the prices of fuel coming up. So there are a lot of problems going on in the world and my deepest sympathies to the Print Taylor family as well as to everyone who's currently in China having to go through what we went through a few years ago. I don't know if you guys know, but for the first initial uh, stay in your house in 25th of March 2020, I was actually in Bucharest. Um, it was a unique experience doing the first um, stages of this disease within a foreign country as a tourist. I was not a European citizen back then and things were really scary around. And here, for example, I think last year, like we're, there was like huge jazz fest, 700 people. It seems like people in Bansko don't care. And as of April 1st, most restrictions are being lifted. So for example, you don't have to put face mask in closed places, even though people here didn't do it anyway. And with that little message being done, let's get started with our package. <sighs> This was so big. It was so hard to carry it to my apartment. Uh, but let's see what's in it. Okay. I'm going to get started by order. And everything here is so packaged. I'm seriously like, need to find what to do with all these nylons. Maybe like watch uh, YouTube tutorials on how to recycle plastic myself. Okay, I think this is the satin wall hanging thing. And for this, I did a design with my Ace of Cups design. Oh my God. Oh, holy. <gasps> oh my God. I'm trying to like, this is stunning, guys. Oh my God. It's actually satin. It's, it's, wow. This is the best quality uh, wall hanging I have ever seen in my life. This review is going to make me very sad. I really wanted to use them as my supplier and this would have been perfect for my Etsy store. Okay, so this is the first and it hangs like this. I'm trying to like show it to you guys, but I don't know like how far can I go? So this is the very first one. I love it so much. Oh my God. There is a bit of a line here. I think it's from the folding, but seriously, this is perfection. Let me just roll it back. Goodbye, the potential of selling these satin wall hangables. And goodbye, more plastic bags. Next up, liquid art wall tapestry. Now this was made with one of, oh, so noisy, wait, let me get rid of this. So this wall tapestry was made with one of my liquid art designs, which I made sure, by the way, to upload it in the right sizes. And there was a tutorial on how I do my liquid art designs and also how I duplicate them and create seamless patterns with them on Clip Studio Paint. So I will leave a link to that video down below. Um, I do have to say, just from first look, um, I made sure, by the way, that the art that I upload is actually bigger than the requirements and on 300 DPI and the result is super pixelated, guys. It looks like liquid art computer game. It's really, really, really pixelated. I hope that you guys can see. So I don't know about this one. I would definitely be disappointed if I was the end client and I would have gotten something like this because it's like, it, it's really bad printing quality. And the file should have been enough for something three times this size. Um, I think we might actually just use it as a bed cover or something. I'm not really sure. I might just cut it out and do other stuff with it. I'm trying to think how to show this to you guys. So this is the print. It's very long. <laughs> and you know what? I don't really need to 
really dive deeper into all of the aspects of this because this cannot be ordered anymore. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I'm so glad I decided to make this video. Uh, let's leave the wearables for a bit later. Okay, the Echo Tote Bag. Okay, so this design was actually shown on a Canva fonts video, like my favorite fonts from Canva, including this font on it. And this was literally a design that I did because I wanted to do that video and I was like trying to show different ways to be using different fonts. So this was Eating Soon. It's on both sides of the bag and it's an Echo Bag. It's actually pretty stunning quality. The bottom is a bit fattened. I can definitely see myself like using this uh, to go to the grocery store or to the Sunday fresh fruit and vegetable market. This is a gorgeous bag. Oh my God. The printing is so cool. I should definitely upload this to Tee Public. <laughs> like this design. What do you guys think? Do you like the eating soon design? Let me know in the comment sections or in the live chat. I like this one. I really do. But no one can get it anymore. <laughs> Next. Backpack. Nylon of backpack. So many nylons. By the way, I also have a backpack from uh, Printful that I haven't yet reviewed. I keep thinking how to review it or where. Uh, we'll see. In any case, uh, this one says Investigador Parama, Para... Investigator Paranormal. This was not a part of my design at all. At least I don't think so. No, this was not a part of my design. And the backpack seems a little bit uh, damaged here, but the backpack itself has one of my flowers here. It's actually from the bundle box of January. And this one says uh, flowers on my mind. And the whole back is flowers. I still need to attach these. I hate when they come detached. Um, we do have this little pocket here. It also says flowers on my mind on the inside. And... It's kind of nice. It has a separator for your laptop. It's a really nice backpack that no one can ever order ever again. And of course, the two sides for water, for your phone, for whatever. Okay, blanket. Ooh, I like this one. I can reuse these bags. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember making this blanket and thinking to myself, I'm so gonna make a tutorial from it. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite, favorite patterns that I did uh, on Canva. Oh my God, it's so soft. It's so soft. Thank you, the ghost of print on the man past for sending this to me. This is my new favorite thing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm, I think I still might make the video about the how I made this pattern. It's so cool. I love it so much. Thank you, Print Taylor. <laughs> we have one last item here before we move on to the wearables. And of course, more plastic. How does this open? Oh, wow. Does this have glitter? What? Okay. So this is the wooden plaque on the back. As you can see, you can hang it from here or from here, or I don't even know what this is. Ah, oh, nice, wait. Like you can also stuck this in here or on this side if you wanna like just make it like standing. And this is of one of my lions and I have no idea why there is so much glitter on this, like literal glitter that's on my hand now. But this is my lion. The printing is insane. I'm, I'm, I'm smiling now and I'm kind of sad because one of the reasons why I wanted to check Printable was for my Etsy store. I was really conflicting if I want to go back to Printables or if I actually want to sell my art myself on Print and Demand. And the wooden wall art as well as the satin wall art, the hangable thing, the one that opens up, I was really looking forward to them. And I do have to say they have an amazing quality and Printable, if you guys would still be open, I would have used... <laughs> these from my Etsy store. This is perfect. I love it. And I, I really want to try and get this thing out. I just don't know how. Ah. Okay, so you can attach it like this. And then, uh, yeah. 
You can stay here. Okay, moving on to the wearables. The all over t-shirt. That is super pixelated. I have no idea why. So this is for my boyfriend. He really likes mountains and biking and he has a van. And I like the color pink. So this is a dry fit t-shirt for him. The fabric is really nice, I do have to say. It's like the dry fit uh, fabric. It's really, really nice. It's really nice. Um, the black came out a bit like dark bluish. I think with the light, it kind of looks dark bluish. The quality of the t-shirt is amazing. The quality of the printing, not so much. Um, it looks very pixelated. Um, it's not exactly what I put in. I think like I put in like 300 DPI of a certain size, which was supposed to be enough. It's very pixelated, but he's a developer, so he might like the pixelated look. So we'll see. And uh, we're moving on to me needing to change clothes with this. Oh, that's a fantastic way to cover a hoodie. Uh, this is a zipped hoodie, and it actually has uh, something that was in the retro design video. I don't know if you've seen the retro design with me. Uh, so I wrote down, I woke up fabulous today, and it has the two clips for the hair that we used to wear in the 90s. And let me just uh, de Society 6 myself, because this is from Size 6, to reveal me wearing my printful coding joke t-shirt. And by the way, uh, it's really important to say, uh, we made a video together, my boyfriend and I, uh, basically going over six different printful t-shirts. And this t-shirt that I got, that I don't remember what was it now, it was very hard, like very rough. The fabric was disgusting. And after washing it, um, it's kind of really nice. I mean, I slept in this. Like, it's really, really nice. Okay, but let's check out uh, print, um, print Tailor. Zipped hoodie, size large. I don't have a single zipped hoodie, do you know, guys? I really don't. And of course, printful pants. Oh, the zipper is kind of a, annoying. Ah, I like it. I like it very much. <laughs> oh. What do you guys think? I woke up fabulous today. I think I should have placed this design a bit in a different location, like maybe a bit more down and to the right, but I kind of like it even like this. What do you guys think? I feel like this will be the cover of the video. <laughs> okay, moving on. More bags to their all over print women's blouse. Oh my God. This is perfect. Oh, I'm so sad now. Oh, I'm so, so sad. Let me just try it on. I ordered it size 2XL because it's from China. Let me just try it on. I feel like I'm out of the mood to zip this one all over. Because, you know, I, th this review is kind of pointless. And also, I don't know, kind of feels weird. I think I like it. I'm not really sure what I will wear it to. Um, in the summer here, we have a pool downstairs. And a lot of times, you know, if you just want to throw something on you, you know, just when you get out of the pool, if it's windy, then usually we use some long clothes, but something very light. So I might use it, you know, just for coming out of the pool, even though I have my kimono. It's a bit masculine, no? Maybe it's because of the t-shirt under. Um, I don't know if I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's cooler when it's open, like a very light kind of breezy jacket. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I like it with my print on it. And you can also have designed the sleeves to be with all over print, not just this part. Uh, but I really didn't know what to do with the sleeves, so I left them black. And this is kind of cool. I kind of like it. Thank you, Print and a Man Ghost. Moving on to trying the last item here, and hopefully I'll do it fast because I'm really cold. So cold. So cold. And this is the extra large size kimono. Oh, I dropped this. Oh my god. Oh, I feel like a sexy boxer. Uh, let me see how this goes. There are hooks here. Yep, one in. And another time, the most useless print on a man review ever. And this is my kimono. It's relatively long. I think you can see here. I feel like I should like go somewhere else with the camera. But it's really hard to move it. It's relatively long. It's kind of nice. I definitely think that it will be nice, like in the summer for pool time, or you know, even if I'm if you're going somewhere, like we plan on maybe going to Greece. So 
if you're going somewhere and you need like a cover when you're coming out of the pool, like to get service in a hotel or a restaurant, I definitely think that this would be nice. And I love it. And I think the highlights here would be this, would be the hoodie. This is like my first zipped hoodie in such a long time. I haven't had zipped hoodies in years. I think my boyfriend would still like this. I don't think he will actually notice that the colors are pixelated. Um, this blanket is the coolest thing in the world. The backpack is kind of nice. The echo bag was one of my favorites. The wall tapestry is complete rubbish. I will probably not be using it for anything. And this was the love of my life. Um, but um, that's it. I'm pretty sure it's the last print on print tailor product review online feeling lucky. <laughs> um, again, uh, my deepest sympathies to the family of Print Taylor. I don't know what happened, why you guys got shut down. You really did have a lot of nice products. Some of these are in extremely good quality, especially like with their price. I mean, seriously, $11, $12 for this blanket is insane. Like you would pay more for a blanket from AliExpress with like a generic print, not print on hand. So it's kind of cool. I do have more conversations with more affordable print on demand suppliers from China as well as from other pla places in the world. So hopefully we'll find a solution for t uh, print tailor being shut down. And I hope that you enjoyed this extremely useless uh, print on demand product review. If you liked any of the designs and want me to make a tutorial on how I made them, please let me know in the comment section down below. By the way, if you like this video and uh, want me to do more product <laughs> reviews, for companies that do exist, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I will be seeing you guys again tomorrow with my goals for the month of April. Yes, the month of April is already here and I'm going to sit down with my goals uh, later, like right before. I, I always do this in the mornings or in the evening before. I want to make the bundle box. I want to really uh, focus my efforts for April to actually reduce some of my work to focus on two print on demand suppliers, uh, two print on demand marketplaces. Let's see if you can guess which ones they're going to be. And I hope to see you then. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this completely useless piece of information. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.